Hi there, my name is Michelle Cashmore and in today's Techniques video I'll be showing you how I varnish my acrylic paintings. So just to start off with, um, I'll show you the supplies that I'll be using. So first of all here's the, the painting that I'm going to be varnishing of a robin that I did some time ago. So what I've done here is I've just put down some paper towels just to protect my work surface and I'm going to lift, raise my painting off the surface just by using anything that's smaller, but in this case a roll of tape. It just means that when I apply the varnish in the medium um, it doesn't stick to the table underneath. So before I actually apply any varnish the first thing that I put down is a layer of um, soft gel gloss coat by Golden. So this can be used as an isolation coat. So what can happen with varnish is that sometimes it's it's so strong that it can smudge the surface of the painting slightly. So by using a diluted layer of this, um, that allows that that acts as a barrier between the painting and the varnish. So on the on the back, it gives you directions for using it as an isolation coat, which is to mix it in a ratio of two to one. So that's what I've just got in here just now. For brushes, I like to use these ones here by Da Vinci. They're inexpensive but they're very thick, very soft and they don't leave a lot of brush marks which makes it ideal for varnishing because I don't want to see any ridges on my painting afterwards. Some people like to use foam brushes but this is what I use here. So the first layer I'm just going to apply with the gel isolation coat and I'm just going to brush it over very gently And just in horizontal lines. Now I don't want too much on here and I don't want to mess with it too much either after I put it on so just clean that off there. Yeah just to make sure there's no ridges at the end. Now I just need to let that dry for some time and then I'll come back and do a coat going in the other direction once that's dry to the touch. Okay, so I've left this first coat of the gel medium for an hour now and it's now dry, it's now dried so it's time to do the second layer. So I'm just going to work in the opposite direction, just going vertically instead of horizontally this time and just reapplying. Once this is done I'm going to leave this for a good few hours to dry and then it will be time to move on to the actual varnish. Making sure that's nice and well there. Oops. So now I've let the gel coat dry completely, it's ready for varnishing. So I like to use uh, Liquitex gloss varnish. I like the sheen that it gives and um, it, ju it just gives a really nice finish to it. Now I, I use a completely separate brush for varnishing, I don't use it for anything but varnishing. One thing to be careful of to, is to make sure that your brush is completely clean and completely dry before using it with any sort of varnish. It can't be wet at all or that might affect the finish of it. So I'm just going to pour out a little bit of this. Now the bottle here says to apply two thin coats and to leave a minimum of three hours drying time between coats. I'm probably going to leave it overnight to dry just so that I can let my brush dry off completely as well. But I'm just going to apply it in the exact same way as I did the gel coat. And similarly 
don't spend too much time fussing with it or else you might affect the finish of it. Just working my way down. Just getting a nice even coat. And just cleaning off the edges there. So now I'll let that dry and for the second coat I'll come back and do a vertical one as I did before. So it's time for the final layer and just as before I'm just going to put on a thin layer of varnish and work vertically this time. And then leave it to dry and that'll be it. Okay, so now I've left the varnish to dry completely, uh, so that's completely dry to the touch and hopefully you can see now that lovely glossy sheen that it has on the, the surface. So that will protect the painting from any dust or dirt that the acrylic might absorb otherwise. And that is it. If you'd like to see more or be kept up to date with all my latest videos then please do subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and at my website michellecashmoreart.com Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.